Hey everyone, how's it going? This is Mark. Friday, September 23rd, 2016. Welcome to the weekly wrap-up for random topics. Uh, and as promised, it'll be random. Uh, so today, I just wanted to show you really quick, we have an amazing sunset going on. So there's some beautiful clouds. You can see this nice big pink cloud. It's just fantastic. And uh, yeah, just beautiful. Check that out. Um, so this week, uh, I'm gonna wrap up things that happened with school. It was week five of school. Classes are going well. I tend to work harder at the end of the week than at the beginning of the week. And I think I'm gonna need to change that because I need to work strong throughout the whole week. Since my Tuesday, Thursday evening core four business class has finished, which is an extracurricular class I was taking with Ruhi at the um, MEO Maui Economic Opportunity Office, um, I'll have more time to focus on, on school. So that'll be good. That'll help a lot. Um, and some of the classes are more challenging than others. Uh, some are more interesting than others, but overall I think I'm doing pretty well in them and enjoying it so far. Next week I will be going to Oahu. So I will probably take some videos and take photos uh, from Oahu to show you. And you can check all that out uh, next week. Um, I don't know how many videos I'll be doing. and I'll try and do a couple maybe or one. I don't know. I'll do whatever I do, right? With work, I've been thinking recently and every... I might have mentioned this before, but every few months, maybe at least every half year or so, maybe every third of a year, I watch this video from Darren Hardy uh, called The Productivity Secrets of Super Achievers. It's a cheesy name, it's the name of the talk he gave, but has some really good information in it, and I will link to it below. And I feel like I talked about it before. One of the things that I always take away from it is the master skill of success is what he calls it, which is essentially the ability to say no. Steve Jobs said that um, Apple's success is much more about what they said no to than what they said yes to. As you know, as you might know, when Steve Jobs went into Apple, he created those four quadrants, right? Business, uh, individual or consumer, and then um, desktop and laptop or portable and home or you know something like that so he basically created these four quadrants of computers that they were only going to focus on they had all these other products before um, there was a talk when uh, the CEO of Nike uh, got the job of CEO of Nike Steve Jobs and him had a conversation on the phone and um, he uh, was talking to Steve Jobs and said congratulations he goes hey do you have any advice and he goes well no you're gonna be great but I guess there's one thing and he says, well, you know, Nike makes a lot of good products, but you make a lot of really crappy products too. So if you just got rid of all the crappy products, I think you do a lot better. As a designer, that's sort of what my responsibility is to do too. I'm always editing the design. I'm always trying to take out the things that are not essential to the system or the interface or the website or whatever it is I'm designing, the logo. Designing is about editing. It's about taking away those things which do not contribute to the message, the brand, the story of what you're doing. Same with film. Editing in general is all about taking away things much more than it's about adding things in. And if you're a designer who's always adding things into something, then you're doing a disservice to that thing. You're clouding it. You're cluttering it. And it's about taking things away, saying no to things, and then you'll get to the true essence of what it is you're designing or building or creating. I remember back in video two, I was talking about the five things that I'm focusing on, which I think were work, school, uh, exercise or physical fitness, community service or the Baha'i faith, and creativity or like playing music, things like that. And I realized uh, that's too many things. I'm, I'm clouding my focus by trying to have five different focuses. So I've got it down to three now. And I've got it a little more specific. Instead of work or school, it's just web design. That's my focus right now. And that's the skill I'm trying to develop mastery in. Mastery is sort of my keyword. That's the word that I'm trying to use to define my personal brand or who I am. So when people think of me, this is the word that comes to their mind. Mastery, as I define it, is um, it's like Kung Fu or Kung Fu, right? The definition of Kung Fu is a high level of skill you've developed through consistent work over time, over a long period of time. So mastery is really about consistency, which requires time and effort, 
and skill. So it's a skill of a high level that you've de developed over consistent work over a long period of time. So that's really what I'm focusing on with web design. I'm not focusing on graphic design, logo design, print design. All of those are my no's. I'm not doing those anymore. I'm not focusing on those anymore. I'm just focusing on building websites and doing it in the most efficient, well systematized, uh, best way for my clients method. That's wordy, but you get the idea. It's I'm trying to perfect that specific skill of building a website for a client and a specific type of website for specific types of clients. I'm not the kind of person who's going to build Facebook for you and I'm not the kind of person who's going to create a social network for you. But if you're a business and you need a website and you need it done well, provides a value for you and your customers, then I'm your person. And that's the skill that I really want to master and develop. So all my energy in that first area is devoted to mastering that specific skill. So whether it's going to school to get the degree, um, uh, to help me with networking with other people, uh, developing my knowledge base, my skill base, all of those things, that's part of it. Uh, working with clients, that's part of it. Uh, knowledge and discovery of new technologies, that's part of it too. Um, studying methodologies that other designers use or other web designers use in their businesses, that's part of it too. So all of these things are all about developing that specific skill mastery in web design. So I feel better about that because it means that I've said no to some things that are not contributing to success in those areas. And you can always go back to things later. You can always learn things again later down the line. Oh, there's my landlord. You have to focus and niche down, niche down, niche down, specialize your skill and ability in, in one specific thing and be known for that thing. And then you can branch off into other things. One of the things um, he talked about in that talk about success is that one of the marks of someone who's super successful in something is that they probably really suck at other things. They're really good at one or two things in their life, maybe three, but, and they're amazing, like world-class at those things. But that means that they couldn't be world-class in other things, right? Um, maybe they're amazing in business, but they're terrible at their personal life or their physical fitness is bad. Or maybe their physical fitness is amazing, but they're terrible with money. Whatever it is, they excel in one specific area. I don't want to be bad at all areas, all other areas, but I want to really get to the level where I can feel like I'm building a world-class skill or mastery in one area. So that's what I'm trying to focus on right now. I'm sort of went off on a tangent, but you get the idea. This, this is um, what I've been thinking about this week and really trying to hone my focus in on those areas that uh, will contribute to those three things in my life. So that's what I'm doing. So this weekend, I'll be doing a lot of schoolwork and stuff. Uh, I think there's a birthday party tomorrow night, but other, th other than that, I'll be working. And then Monday, I'm going to Oahu. I'm staying over on the win uh, leeward side, over in um, Makakilo, near um, Kapolei, which is where my university is. Have a client meeting or two or three, and we'll be working in the city for part of it and working at school for part of it, trying to meet up with some teachers as well, and uh, keeping busy. So that's it. That's it for today. 12 minutes. That's plenty of time. You don't need more than that. One cool thing that uh, Ruhi and I are going to be working on is video content for my um, business YouTube channel. Um, my business name is changing, but for now just know that we have plans for video content that's going to be really helpful to people who want to build a website. Things that basically the most common questions or confusions that people have about building a website, I'm going to answer those in a, as succinct a way as possible. Uh, <laughs> wish me luck. So that's it. Too much information, but hope you're doing well. Take care of yourselves. Have a great weekend. Keep on keeping on and see you later.